lecture of the Legendre polynomial. Today I am going to discuss the orthogonality of the Legendre polynomial. So orthogonality of Legendre polynomial. The value of the integral minus 1 to 1 pm x into pn x is equal to 0 if your m is not equal to n and this is your 2 upon 2n plus 1 if your m equal to n. So proof. Let us discuss the case first when your m is not equal to n. And then we will discuss the second case when your m is equal to n. Legendre polynomial is a solution of Legendre differential equation. So that means it will satisfy its differential equation. So Legendre differential equation is one minus x square y double dash minus two x y dash plus n into n plus 1 y equal to 0. As our p n and p m are solution of this equation, so we have this one as equation number 1 and then similarly we will have this equation. So we have this equation. Now let us multiply the equation number 1 by pm and 2 by pn and then subtract. And then finally we will integrate the resultant equation with respect to x from minus 1 to plus 1. So 1 into pm and second into pn imply now here we will have 1 minus x square. Now this will be your pn double dash into pm. And now this will be your minus 1 minus x square. Then we will have pm dash into pn. Then we will have minus 2x pn dash into pm minus minus plus 2x pm dash into pn and then we will have the term n into n plus 1 minus m into m plus 1 then in the bracket we will have pn into pm equal to 0 this is equal to now these two terms can be combined and we can write it as d by dx of 1 minus x square into pn dash and then at outside we will have pm. Now again if you take minus sign from this term and this term then this will be your d minus d by dx of 1 minus x square pm dash into pm. And then finally we have the last two term. Okay. So this is equal to 0. Now, we can also write this equation as Now let us add one term and subtract it and after that I will write this term as d by dx of 1 minus x square pn dash into pm. This will be my first term. And this second term can be written as d by dx of 1 minus x square pm dash into pm. So that means you can see that here now I have sent this pm and pn inside this derivative. How is it, is it possible? D 
because now if you differentiate this one using the product rule then the differentiation of the first term will be this one so this is your differentiation of 1 minus x square into p and s then we will have pm and then 1 minus x square into p and s then the differentiation of pm with respect to x so that means you can see that here I have added this term here because the differentiation of this will give you two terms one is this one and the second term will be this one and again the differentiation of this one will be d by dx of 1 minus x square into pm dash into pn which is this one then we will have 1 minus x square into pm dash 1 minus x square into pm dash into the differentiation of pn will be pn dash and we have minus sign so now this term will get, will get cancelled with this term so here you can see that you can say that I have added one term and separated the same term so after these or if you simplify this term then you will get the derivative of this one plus this term and if you simplify this one then we will get derivative of this one minus this term so now these two terms will get cancelled so we can write this equation like this now let us integrate this equation with respect to x from minus 1 to plus 1 so on integration on integration with respect to x from minus 1 to plus 1 we get now this will be 1 minus x square pn dash into pn then we have limits minus 1 to 1 then we will have 1 minus x square pm dash into pn then the limits will be from minus 1 to 1 then the last one will be your n into n minus 1 minus m into m plus 1 and the limits from minus 1 to 1 pn into pm equal to 0 now clearly 1 minus x square is 0 at both x equal to 1 and x equal to minus 1 so this term and this term is 0 so from here we have n into n minus 1 minus m into m minus 1 then the integral minus 1 to 1 pn into pm equal to 0 now as your n is not equal to n so that means this term and this term will not get cancelled so that means this bracket is not, not equal to 0 so we have this bracket at 0 so we have this integral equal to 0 for m not equal to n now let us discuss the second case for the second case we have m equal to n so we cannot use this method because when your m equal to n then we have this term as 0 so we will get 0 equal to 0 so for that let us have some another method so if your m is not equal to n if your m is equal to n then let us apply the generating function so case 2 if your m equal to n now if your m equal to n we know that 1 minus 2 x t plus t square power minus half equal to this term in the right hand side we have this term this is your identity function of the region of polynomial now let us square on both sides so on squaring we get this will be 1 minus 2 h t plus t square power minus 1 now in the right hand side if you take two terms like t power n into p n plus t power m into p m then we will have a square plus b square plus 2 ab so for a square we will have terms like this t power 2 n into p n square then again for b square we will have p power 2 m into p m whole square so that means these all are terms of the type square this square type of terms then we will have a term 2ab so this 2ab will give you m n equal to 0 from infinity and here our m is not equal to n and then we will have p power n plus n then pn into pn let us integrate this equation with respect to x from minus 1 to plus 1 so on integration with 
respect to x from minus 1 to plus 1 we get minus 1 to 1 and then we will have dx1 1, 1 minus 2x3 plus 3 square now this in the right hand side we will have now after term by term integration we will have minus 1 to 1 p power summation n equal to 0 to infinity then we will have p power 2 n p n square and then integration with respect to x then finally we will have m naught equal to n and the summation is from 0 to infinity and here we will have minus 1 to 1 and p power n plus n into pn into pm into dx equal to 0. Now for this term, for this term our n is not equal to m so the integration of this term will be 0 because of the first part. So we have this term as 0 because of the first part so therefore our minus 1 to 1 dx1 1, 1 minus 2x3 plus t square is equal to summation n equal to 0 to infinity then we have minus 1 to 1 t power 2 n into p n square then the integration with respect to x now let us integrate this left hand side with respect to x so the integration of 1 upon x will be of log x and the coefficient of x is your minus 1 by 2t so we have minus 1 by 2t and then the limits for minus 1 to 1 and in the right hand side we have solution n equal to 0 to infinity minus 1 to 1 t power 2 n p n square dx now your left hand side will be just put out your limits so for the upper limit we have x equal to 1 so this will be a 1 minus t square and for the lower limit we have x equal to minus 1 so this will be a 1 plus t whole square so the limits are for upper limit we have log for upper limit we have x equal to minus 1 so x equal to 1 so this will be a 1 minus t whole square so we have 1 minus t whole square then for the lower limit we have 1 plus t whole square now in the right hand side we have summation n equal to 0 to infinity integral minus 1 to 1 p power 2 and p n square dx now take this two outside because you know that log m power n is n log m so this two and this two will get cancelled so we have minus 1 by t now in the bracket we will have log 1 minus x and log 1 minus x is minus x minus x square by 2 minus x cube upon sorry this is your x plus x square by 2 plus x cube by 3 plus x power 5 upon 5 and so on and here we will have x log 1 plus 2p of x minus x square by 2 plus x cube upon 3 minus 2 power 4 upon 4 and so on this is your left hand side and in the right hand side we have n equal to 0 to infinity minus 1 to 1 p power 2 and p n square by dx here we have minus n. Now you can write it as your log 1 minus x is equal to minus x plus x square by 2 plus x cube by 3 and so on. Now so this is equal to 1 minus 1 by t. Now this will be your minus t. So we have minus 2t. Then your next term will be minus t square by 2. Here we have plus t square by 2. So this term will get cancelled. So we have minus 2t for 1 3. Then we will have minus 2t upon 5 upon 5 and so on. Now in the right hand side we have n equal to 0 to infinity integral minus 1 to 1 t power 2 n into pn square pdx. Okay, now from here we have this term as now this if you divide this whole equation by minus t then we will have 1 then this will be your 2 minus 2 this if you take this 2 common then we will have 2 then here we will have t square upon 3 then we will have t power 4 upon 5 and so on now in the right hand side we have n equal to 0 to infinity minus 1 to 1 t power 2 n 
Pn squared dx. Okay, now this term can be written as 2, then summation n equal to 0 to infinity, p power 2n. Now the general term of this will be if you put n equal to 0, then we will get this one, then if you put n equal to 1, then we will have this term, and if you put n equal to 2, then we will have this term. So this is your general term, and in the right hand side we have n equal to 0 to infinity, minus 1 to 1, t power 2n, pn square dx. Now, let us equate the coefficient of t power 2n on both sides. So, equating the coefficient of t power n on both sides, so this will give you, now in the left hand side we will have 2 for 2 n plus 1. Now, if you equate the coefficient of t power 2n on the both sides, then in the right hand side we will have minus 1 to 1 pn square dx. So, this is what we have to prove. So, for m equal to n, so whenever your m is equal to n, our left hand side will be minus 1 to 1 pn square into dx. So, this minus 1 to 1 pn square into dx is equal to 2 for 2n plus 1 whenever your m is equal to n. So, this is all about the orthogonality of the Legendre polynomial and with the help of this integer, we can solve many questions based on Legendre equations.